Is it red? Yep. Hi, Chris in Southern California, delivering a 15-gallon Washington Naval Orange. This tree is a very beautiful tree, but judging by what's gone on here in the past of this home, it's quickly going to look like the tree up here on the hillside that we're going to clean up. And this is planted. Let's stand back there a little bit so we can all see the unsightliness of the tree. This looks like to be a, a Eureka lemon. And uh, it's been stripped clean by snails. And uh, we're going to clean it up with some fertilizer and some snail control real quick. We've got some sluggo that the homeowner had on hand. Sluggo is a great snail killer. Doesn't bother pets at all. It actually kind of works as a nutrient since it's iron phosphate. And there's so many snails in here that they just cover the ground. They've got some Mexican primrose, and there's just heaping gobs of dried out snail shells. Snails also are great food for rats. So if you've got lots of snails on your hillside, odds are you've got lots of rats roaming around at night. First step, we're going to strip away this Mexican primrose, some of the weeds. The snails will climb on to the tree from the primrose. Here's a nice healthy snail right now. Also, some of this soil has come off the hillside and buried the root ball of this tree. Remember, we always need the root balls to be breathing well. We don't want the ground cover within a couple feet of the tree. The homeowner at a later date is going to have to remove some of the soil back here so we can get a nice tree well going again. Most nurseries will sell citrus and avocado food, 10-6-4. Believe me, this is barely enough to grow a house plant. So, your, your tree, most important thing for citrus is micronutrients. And it says fortified with essential minerals. It has a little bit of zinc, magnesium, and iron. But it's not strong enough to kick this, jump start this plant. We're going to add a liberal amount of this to the soil here to make up for its small portions of nitrogen. We've got a huge amount of ants on the tree right now. It could be a small amount of scale starting up here. We'll come back in about a month and check up on this tree. Next step is to clean it up. The snail damage has shown up by all these twigs that have no more foliage on them. The snails come on here and they, their effect is to continuously strip the cambium off this poor plant. We just go in here and cut this back. We are leaving a stub on here because this isn't uh, trimming out an oak tree on an estate. Don't want to cut this back further and have it dry out some more. I hate tree stubs but in this case it's a necessity because it's not a healthy plant. going to pinch it back a little bit and get that growth going down a little bit lower. Also we have one of our newest pests in western U.S. and from the southeast which is citrus leaf miner. It also could easily be confused with snail damage but when we look at the leaves more closely <coughs> we can find li little veins being run through here. This pest actually gets between a layer of the leaf and separates the layers and uh, eats in there, eats in between there to keep it simple. Easily controlled with an organic uh, spray or a spray registered for organic growing called Spinosad. So as soon as we get the tree healthy, another couple weeks a month, then we'll spray it. Right now this poor thing's so stressed out it just needs to be cleaned up and fed. Remove all these lower suckers.
One problem is that we're in a very windy area. We're in an area that's very prone to Santa Ana winds. So we'll focus more on keeping this plant tighter and more dense as opposed to really tall. Where we take our sluggo, looks like fertilizer, very cylindrical little pellets, and broadcast it out around the tree. Get a little bit more of a basin on here for this watering. Again, ground's still a little bit on the dry side here. When you're using drip spray systems, keep in mind you need that on for about four hours usually. <sighs> we'll just pull this soil up now, it's getting a little more wet from the back. And we'll come back in about a month and see how we're doing on this tree. Thank you.